President of the Sahrawi Republic, Secretary General of the Polisario Front, Ibrahim Ghali, delivered a speech during the African Climate Summit held in the Kenyan capital, Nairobi, where he presented the participants with the Sahrawi state's policy on green economy and the approach taken to combat climate change. Ghali highlighted the detrimental impact of Moroccan occupation on the environment in the Sahrawi lands. He further emphasized that the dire consequences of the overlap between climate change challenges and the Moroccan occupation, forcing over 200,000 Sahrawis to further exacerbate in their plight. In the occupied territories of the Sahrawi Republic, the occupation practices that take place outside international law, without accountability or oversight, exacerbated the effects of climate change. The Manitou occupation wall, which divides our country into two parts, also deprives the liberated lands of water, which constitutes serious environmental degradation, increasing the effects of the drought in the region. We're facing these challenges related to climate change and struggling to end the colonization of our country. The situation has caused the displacement of more than 200,000 Sahrawi citizens to climate harsh areas as temperatures in refugee camps reach record levels. In his speech, President Ghali also criticized the United Nations for delaying the decolonization process of Western Sahara the last colony in Africa. This delay has led to the deprivation of funds allocated to address the climate change crisis in the Sahrawi Republic. Ghali called for the Sahrawi party to be represented to ensure their voice is heard on the global stage in the United Nations. United Nations delaying completing the decolonization process of Western Sahara cannot be an excuse for the Sahara Republic not to fully engage in the global effort to address climate change and its devastating effects. It is unreasonable to deprive my country of funding allocated to confront the climate change crisis. Hence, it is necessary to represent the Sahrawi Party in the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change and in the Conference of the Party's COPs. The Sahrawi voice will be an African voice that adds to and strengthens the African position. In a positive development, the Sahrawi Republic, represented by Foreign Affairs Minister Mohamed Sidati, signed the Kampala Agreement on Migration, Environment and Climate Change. This agreement was reached during the African Union Foreign Ministers' meeting in Nairobi, and aligning the Sahrawi state's commitment to combat climate change. This step further solidifies the Sahrawi Republic's stance on addressing climate change and its determination to actively participate in global efforts to mitigate its effects.